Can You Dig It is our community archaeology project within the Galloway Glens. Uh, it's one of our very exciting projects. It's been going since February 2019. Through 2019 we had a fantastic year. We engaged loads of volunteers, we did lots of digs and explorations all around the Galloway Glens. We found a deserted farmstead on the Raiders Road, Upper Gareloch. We had a look at Pol Maddy, we did some surveys there. We went to Moat Bray on Kukubri. We did some work at the Three of Estate with the um, National Trust of Scotland. Rathmill Archaeology is a, a commercial practice. Most of the work we do is into planning and development. So it's a wonderful opportunity being involved in a project like Can You Dig It? for our professional archaeologists to get back to their roots, to work with the community to discover more about their past and to engage in that joyity of discovering. I think it's incredibly important to realise that the landscapes we move about and live in have been massively shaped and altered by humans for time immemorial and that what we think of as a natural environment isn't. It's a managed environment. So we have uh, managed woodlands, we have old railway lines, we have areas we've settled in before and that is very much the, the sort of story of how we've lived here and getting out into the landscape, discovering more about the choices we've made in the past, about how we've shaped very much the earth which we live upon. It's incredibly important and it enriches our understanding of where we are. When we were looking for targets of what to look at in the Can You Dig It project, we needed to find things that would tell us rich stories about how people lived in the landscape. And one of our early choices was on Raiders Road in the Glen Cairns. What you have along there is a whole series of 18th and 19th century settlements, farming communities that have been abandoned, which enabled us to go into one of them at Upper Gairloch and really discover more about how people lived and worked in that beautiful part of the landscape. The deserted farmstead at Upper Gairloch is fascinating. It, it was deserted in the 1800s and when the volunteers got there you couldn't make anything out at all. But with uh, a lot of concerted effort by a lot of people, it really started to take shape over the, over the weeks of the explorations. And by the end of it you could see these structures emerging from the undergrowth, um, giving a real insight into what life would have been like on the, on the Raiders Road. Basically what we're digging here is a, is a kiln barn. It's, it's a site like maybe 18th or maybe early 19th century structure. Basically it's for processing grain, so it's drying off grain, it's a way of preserving it. Uh, and then the barn behind it is basically to store it, essentially. We also spent some time at the Three Estate up on Littlewood Hill. There's an Iron Age fort up there and there's been fantastic work done by National Trust for Scotland and the Thistle Camps there with Derek Alexander in the past. But, uh, so we were delighted to get back out there and see what we could find with a, with a bit more digging and exploration. It was one of our biggest digs, uh, it lasted over 10 days and it was fantastic to see so many people out really getting into the history of one of our most valuable natural resources in the area. We're delighted to have Galloway Glen's Can You Dig It project at here at Three State. We're so happy to see volunteers come and try archaeology for the first time and they're actually adding to something so important which is the history of this estate and our knowledge of this estate. We've got behind me the wonderful Three Castle which is the icon of this site but actually the history is much much older and we've done excavations ourselves in 2014 and before and this project this week is really adding to our knowledge and I think we may have found a really interesting new story to tell our visitors. So we've come up here to investigate a D-shaped enclosure that was visible in aerial photographs since 1949. And what happened in 2014, Derek Alexander with the National Trust of Scotland, he came out with a thistle camp and they opened four trenches across the area. So far we've found lots of charcoal, so we can hope for maybe more radiocarbon dates. But we've artifact-wise we've found flints, some lovely flints. So they're earlier, which shows this continuity of occupation, so there's activity here in the early prehistoric, and then we've got this date from the later prehistoric, we've also found a musket ball, so that will be a lot later as well. So we've found earlier artefacts and later artefacts, but we haven't yet got something that's diagnostically Iron Age. So the volunteers have been helping us with all aspects of the excavation work. So we've had them doing troweling, we've had them shoveling, we've had them with the mattocks. So they've been getting a lot of physical exercise for seven days and that's been great. But we've also been doing some sampling, we're doing photography with them as well because obviously archaeology is all about preservation by record. 
Part of Can You Dig It is about transferring skills into the community, enabling them to do more archaeology themselves. So we've been running a series of workshops on things like uh, web-based heritage research, how to generate 3D images from photographs, and we're going to run workshops also on material culture, artifacts, how you can understand things about the objects left behind. And then these are practically applied when you're out on site doing the projects we've been doing on Can You Dig It to practically enable people to understand more about their past. Through 2020, we've actually been really pleased with, um, with how we've managed to transfer online. We set up a program, fortnightly program of online Zoom events, all free, um, for people to attend. And we've had some fantastic speakers, really interesting. We've had the folklore of the Galloway Glens, we've had the history of Carsven lead mines, um, we've had Viking tales, we've had the uh, historic woodland assessment of Bar Hill Woods. I mean, too many to mention, but each one of them absolutely fascinating in their own right. They're all published on our Galloway Glens YouTube channel. Again, a really fascinating insight into our local heritage from experts in their field. So the next two years, up until September 2022, are going to be the perfect time. If this is an interest of yours, Rathmell Archaeology are going to be on hand throughout it to uh, help you, support you, transfer those technical skills that you need such that uh, we can do it with you for a couple of years and then you'll be in, empowered and encouraged to uh, carry on exploring the, uh, the built heritage of the Galloway Glens into the future.